Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the beautiful Loire Valley of France. Where we it is a very misty and beautiful morning. The sun is rising behind us. Today is a big day of before, after, big reveal, brocanting. Nice day today. We love to take these walks in the morning, but the weather is changing, the leaves are turning, and apparently we're gonna have 10 days of rain. Did you get a good shot? Oh yeah. This mist is giving us some uh, interesting surreal shots. It's beautiful. And so as it's going to be raining for the next 10 days, that has inspired us to do a project that we've been waiting to do for a long time. <laughs> Are you taking a photo of me vlogging? <laughs> Even when it's about to rain and it's misty and gray, it's still beautiful here in France. That's true. Well, our garden's almost ready for winter. <laughs> and there's our chateau in the distance. Continuing with our Sunday activities, we are on our way to our local Brocante, where we are searching for some bedside tables. Matching bedside tables, they're not easy to find. And we are so lucky because we live right next to a village that's full of antique stores. Right, sweetheart? <laughs> that's his, I'm so excited to go shopping again face, right? <laughs> can buy a food truck, sweetheart. Next to a couple of antique urns. That actually looks pretty cool. You want one of those in the back garden? Well, you know, it's not a bad retirement plan. <laughs> Gotta have a side hustle. <laughs> okay, Ruby's side Diner, we can rename me Ruby. These places are so great. You know, there's always something weird and wonderful. And even if you keep coming back, there's something you haven't seen before. So let's go check it out. So Simon just got done telling me, don't look outside. We don't need anything for outside. And then you promptly saw something you like the look of. Said, is it a giant turtle for the garden? No. Bird baths um, are nice. I love these urns. Well, and cherubs. I love the cherubs too. Yeah, these, are cherubs. These, are, these are urns here. These are huge. Look. They're beautiful. Yeah, these would be expensive. And these are nice. They've got a Napoleonic uh, 60 euros? No. Or 160 euros. 160. Yeah. These are so we have all sorts of architectural antiques, things for the garden, although clearly it's not really the season for doing the garden, but maybe it's the season for getting a bargain for things for the garden. These are fun. These are vintage irons. Who are you talking to? Are you talking to the bowl? I'm just reasoning something through my mind. Just making a decision. A decision about a bowl. I just spotted these chairs and I love them. And sadly, they're sold. And Simon would hate them. I know someone who would like him. Look at these crazy, crazy lamps. These three right here. Oh, wow. 
It's the lampshades, really, isn't it? Oh, They're enormous. Here, stand next to them so we can see how big they are. Isn't that it's wild? What are you looking at over here? Oh, this is a, my little find for today. It's in perfect condition. What is it? You see That's it? pretty. Now, have a look at this. It's got a pear on the top. Uh -huh. It's beautifully made. Yes. Okay. Nice handles, lovely mm -hmm. paint, hand painted. Mm -hmm. And guess what? What? Ah. Oh. Leroy and Bosch. Leroy and Bosch. Is that how you say it? <laughs> I like I like a soft C. How how I like a Bosch. A Bosch. How how um, Leroy and Bosch. How Sounds much is it? Than Leroy and Bosch. How much is it? He's asking 40, but I think 40? we can probably get 20. Simon, for heaven's sakes, for that, really? 40? If that was in the store, wouldn't that be higher? Yes, It'd be but... like 120. Okay, what I will tell you is that's not very old. It's from, the, like, maybe the 60s or 70s. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it would be about 120 in the store. All right. <laughs> if you love it, you get it. Well, I'm looking Just for Just remember this. that when I take you upstairs to show you no, 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 my no. find. No, 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 The no, find no. that I found we're not, upstairs. We're not trading off. We are we're trading. trading yes, off. we are. No, no. Hold on a minute. Oh. This is 40 euros. Yeah. And look what I just spotted here. This is also 40 euros. It's got wonderful gilding on it. That is... I believe 40 euros better spent. Well, I... Hmm. 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 I suspect. Here, let's pull them both out. I think that our viewers would like to weigh in on which one they prefer. Okay, let me, let me explain. <laughs> let me show you something. Four euros. Yes. Four euros. I don't think it's got anything to do with the value of the piece. I think that... The fact is that our seller, the guy who owns this place, just has a thing about round numbers. Four or forty? Four, it's good either four 40, or forty. Eight, twenty. A few things in here are twenty. All I right. Mean, well, the things that I saw that I liked were four hundred and eighty. So yes, he you're right. Like he, might, he might like the <laughs> he might well, like it. I'm not in that budget. I don't have that. I'm not I don't have that budget when I'm out in these stores. I'm like I'm looking for a find okay. for ten or twenty euros. That's kind of my thing. I think, wow. Right. And I only spent twenty euros on it. Or forty. It doesn't have it doesn't have quite the or same. 40. I'll get that what are you doing? What are you doing? Do you think this works? <laughs> With my tunic? Are you running for office or I don't know. I think I'm running. I think I'll be running if you continue to wear that much longer. <laughs> I think it looks good. What do you think? <laughs> I think it's a really good look. Are you going to buy the outfit to go with it? No, I look like a chess piece. <laughs> oh, as just what I, what I always dreamt of as a girl. A pawn on a board. Well, so maybe that a little bit. Steps. I think I'll get it. I mean, I think it's perfect. I think I can't take you anywhere. Look at you, you big peacock. <laughs> which, with your it. with your scarf. Is that your scarf from Egypt? It is. Well spotted. And uh, your That's hat and your your hat and your tat. Oh, the hat. Your I hat, your hat, your tat. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a hatathon now, is it? This is First World War. Are French. you back in the trenches? This is a French First World War hat. Well, it's it's actually. How does it look? It, it, well, I think it's very interesting. I also am slightly concerned about who wore it. Oh no! It might this have is a tragic a history. It's awesome. That's, that's well, yeah, a mirror and a bullet half, holes in it? it. I mean, you know, there's a lot of this stuff lying around, just sort of surplus that nobody actually. Look, there are more hats for you, Simon. There's one right there, and a little bit of armor for you also. What? Look. This is not the real deal at all. <laughs> However, it is heavy. What have the Romans ever done for us? <laughs> You're ferocious. <laughs> Just call me Attila. Attila, Attila my honey. Attila my honey. I'm always on the hunt for antique jewelry, but I have to say I'm feeling a bit conflicted about this one. sort of teeth do you suppose those are? 
I'm really excited because I think I found the best thing ever. And Simon thinks it's... It begins with, well, what I said was it's... <laughs> you and actually it said is. it's disgusting. It is. It is disgusting. <laughs> It's like... It's so wonderful and it matches the chairs that Sally and I found. It is a no, gold no, it footstool and it's no. wonderful. Look who's back, it's Sally! <laughs> wow. She's back! Hi Hi. everybody, Sally's back! <laughs> so, what do you want to do on this trip? Obviously, the main objective is cheese. But Sally and I have just been out shopping. She has, she's bringing in the cushions <laughs> to our fabulous gold Ooh. chairs. Thank you, Sally. These are the fabulous chairs that we bought. Simon doesn't know that I have bought them. He's gonna be horrified when he sees them, but they are gonna look so great when they go in the room. Look at that. Look at that amazing fringe on the bottom. I am so excited and they're gonna be really comfortable too. I can't wait to show Simon this. I have something to show you. Mm -hmm. Watch that. Okay, get ready for this. Yeah. I have spotted inside of this Paris estate agency window, this very beautiful apartment for sale. And before you're wondering, no, I'm not proposing that we buy a 5 million euro apartment. <laughs> Although I wish we could. But if we look closely, this is the best thing ever. You know the chairs I bought for the Renaissance room upstairs? Yeah. Look. <laughs> oh yeah, they're very similar, aren't they? They're the same. They even oh, have the same, the same tassels. Same. They're the same gold velvet. Hmm? And so clearly, well, I'm like, not alone in my, my posh decor. Well, first of all, I've never disputed your taste. <laughs> yes, you have. Many, many, many times. <laughs> maybe I have. But, you know. Maybe, maybe what I'm saying Ma is maybe that gold those... tasseled velveted uh, furniture is not my taste. <laughs> maybe those chairs are better than you think they were. Maybe they are. Can you kiss me, heaven sighs, and no one close my Ready for cheese of the week? I'm always ready for cheese of the week. Fantastic. I'm going to let you present cheese of the week this Excellent. week. This week's cheese of the week is tongue with black garlic. Does everyone know what black garlic is? Oh, I'm about to tell them. This is exciting. Black garlic is simply white garlic that has been aged and fermented for at least a month. It has a wonderful, smooth, spreadable consistency, as well as hints of caramelized garlic and balsamic vinegar. It's very mild and has twice the antioxidants of fresh garlic. Tome is a type of cheese produced mainly in the French Alps and Switzerland. It's low in fat, fruity, nutty, and mild. Like many cheeses, its texture is dependent on its age. Today's cheese of the week combines Tome cheese with black garlic. And so this is going to be a very exciting flavor combination. And yes, there is black garlic marbled inside that cheese. Okay, here you go. Mm. My goodness, that's one of the best things I've ever tasted. Now, which bit do you like better, the actual black garlic or the cheese with the black garlic? I can't possibly decide. <laughs> okay. I, I'll have both, please, thank you. Now your job is to go back to New York and find cheese with black garlic. Mission accepted. Excellent. Like someone's going to come in here and think, oh my God, apart from you. Oh my God, this is exactly what I'm looking for. First of all, this color went out in the 1970s. Never, it's back. never to come back. It it's is not back. back. It is that back. That color is not back. It that is back. That color is banned. It's no, horrible. It's, it's wonderful. It's like some kind of musty. It totally matches the chairs that Sally it's and a I mustard, found. It's like a mustard. Gold. It's, it's gold, Simon. <laughs> it's not gold. gold. It's not gold. <laughs> it's, it's like mustard. Mustard 
poop. It's, it's like a mustard poop. Beautiful poop-y color. gold with fringe and it's velvet. And what, what, is this, what is this? I love it. Look, so that Look. pops out, spreads out. Yes, it's a sofa bed. The whole thing is a sofa bed and it's a footstool and it matches the chairs that you hate that I bought for the red room. I think someone else will love this. This, this, Get do you know loved. what this is? This is, this is the, this is the soft furnishings equivalent of goat's cheese. It should never be made. There's no reason for it. No one needs it. And it's some the, people it's, it's find the, it furthermore. delicious. <laughs> I can't find Simon. But look, I got it. <laughs> I can't believe you just bought that. Yeah, you're trying to sneak it into the car, but you can't hide that, you see? Look at it, the colour of it and everything else. It's impossible. <laughs> Hello. But look. Okay, that's my four euro find. Very pretty. That's a standard, just like a standard rice dish or pasta or vegetables. Perfect. Uh huh. But look at this. Oh, well done. You got it cleaned. Oh, it's beautiful. Look how good that is. It's I mean, it is in perfect. First of all, it, there's not a chip on it anyway. You're right. It cleaned up really nicely. It's in perfect condition. Take it all back. Oh. That is a lovely, lovely, lovely thing. It's Villa Iron Bock or Bosch. <laughs> but it's, you know, I mean, just look at that. Very nice. Well, look at that. The sun came out after all. Simon decided to take advantage of the good weather and get some shots of the last few roses left in the garden. What many of you may not know about Simon is that he is a very gifted photographer, and I can't wait to show you more of his incredible work on my website, which I'm going to be launching very soon. So I'm currently standing in the pool area. Many of you may remember we did a big renovation of this space, planting all these wonderful plants and everything, and our goal is to create an entire spa, indoor pool, and gym in the whole lower ground floor of the chateau. So this area now is really special, but if you follow me this way, the room right behind us is a complete blank canvas. And I think this is gonna be an incredible place to display a lot of Simon's artwork. Here I am in a completely empty room in the chateau. So we have a number of these wonderful rooms in what basically is the basement, but as you can see from the size of the windows behind me, that it is basically a lower ground floor. It's not a complete basement because we do have windows, we do have high ceilings, and so all of this space can be absolutely usable here in the chateau. And also unlike many, many other chateaux that we viewed before we bought this place, most of the basements are really in bad shape. They're basically used for storage and for keeping the heating equipment and such. But this is all completely usable space. So we wanna create this really wonderful spa experience. So almost like a hotel, but in a private house. And then hopefully, if we do decide to do some sort of events, activities, groups, or possibly holiday rentals, then whoever stays here has the incredible ability to have this whole complex down here. Now the inspiration for this room, believe it or not, is this weird bit of equipment right here. This was left behind by the previous owners and we realized why. It weighs an absolute ton. It's one of those jiggle machines. I don't know if any of you have them in your houses and if they work, but it is a very expensive, very sturdy bit of gym equipment. And so this space could lend itself very well to being a gym, especially as it leads on to the swimming pool right behind us. But I would much rather it be an art space, but how could we do that? Let's find out. So we're about to get started. Simon has gone to great lengths to source an incredible printer for his photographs and this very bland, dull room is going to be completely transformed into a modern, exciting gallery space. Yeah, I think that's great. Yep. Perfect. So I painted the walls. Uh, I'm prepared to give it like a gallery feel. We've got some of the uh, photographs all framed, ready mm -hmm. to go in large format. 
So I'm excited about how they're going to look. Exactly. And you already measured. Yeah. And put the little hooks up. So that's great. We already have it all set to go. So who's ready to get started? Me. <laughs> Me too. What are you doing there? Huh? Oh, look what you've well, got! Well, I thought I'd start with my certificate. Okay. <laughs> you know, because... We weren't, all, we weren't all idle in the last few years with the pandemic and everything, so I use my time to do something I've wanted to do for a long time, because I've been taking photographs since I was about 11 years old, since I was a kid. And, um, but I've never really done a professional course, you know, which is something I always wanted to do. So this is the first thing that's going up. Oh, <laughs> exciting. <laughs> is this the first piece to go up? So this is the first one. This is from a series oh, of spectacular flowers that I did. And I had a particular way of shooting flowers that I liked. Made them look very watercolor in nature. And uh, they look really nice. They're beautiful. And they're also, the thing about flowers is you can hang them anywhere, really. Well, the, the subject matter is really kind of uh, suitable for all sorts of decoration. This is one of my favorites because I love your technique of getting this blurry background with the up close of the macro shots. And I know from the way that you work that your resolution is really high and so you're able to blow up these images to these huge, huge format sizes. Yeah. Uh, I work with massive files because, you know, you have to print when these are printed, you want them to look really beautiful yeah. and to have all of the different um, transitions between the colors, yeah. I think is important. That's always the tough bit here. Let me lend a hand. These are so beautiful, sweetie. Thank you. I love this one, where you can just see the petals on the inside. I've got some reflections, so I'm gonna have to show everybody the stills of these. They're so beautiful. Each one is so unique. The style is similar though. Yes. So the style is there, it's just the image of course is different. But you know there is something of interest in all of them. Like you see with the tulip here, or the iris, sorry. You see how it's very fine, these little tendrils here. You kind of wouldn't really see that unless you looked in very closely and then uh, just magnificent, absolutely magnificent. Thank you. you know I love paintings and sculpture and sure. and all of that, but but your photography is just exquisite, oh, thank and you, you create this incredible rainbow effect yeah. with all of your different images. It's so beautiful. This is one of my all-time favorites. It is such a splash of brilliant color. Oh, but thank you. It makes such a statement. It really does, just on its own. I mean, I can't wait to see it in here with all of the others, but. Seeing all these blown up to this size, after having seen them, you know, as little images on, on the computer, it's just extraordinary. I've been working on this technique for a really long time. The way I approach them with the camera and the way I work with the images is entirely unique. Okay, it's my, it's my particular piece of magic that I play with on the uh, flower itself. That gives it this, that gives it this finish. What makes you an artist? Oh, it's beautiful. I really like this one because it's very easy when you're working with like bright colors to, you know, to have an effect. But here, a lot of the colors are muted. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's almost a little harder to make- A little more discreet. Make an image out of it that's kind of pleasing.
Now, as much as we would love this space to be just a gallery space, nobody's gonna come in here very often if all we do is have pictures hanging and you and I need to get fit. So in a perfect world, we would spend somewhere between 30 minutes to an hour admiring your artwork every day. <laughs> do you think that's gonna happen? So now it's time for the workout before the workout. dreaded scale. Gallery and gym. It's wonderful. You and like it? I love it. And then, so everyone can see here, we have a television in the corner yeah. and all of the free weight type stuff. And on the television, the we're gonna have apps where we can do things like spin classes. That's and right. Yoga yeah. and stuff like that. So anybody who wants to work out at home, Basically, we, so these two bicycles are also like spin bikes. Then there's the jiggly thing. Um, one of these, it's not a, what's it called? Not a Stairmaster, it's a, um, like a Nordic track kind of thing. And then that's like a little ab thingy. So we should be pretty fit when all is said and done, shouldn't we, sweetheart? I hope so. <laughs> so do I. I really mean to. No excuse now. No, I know. Especially with the pool. All, all that sitting around editing hasn't been good for the figure. No. <laughs> I think I'm much more interested in coming in here to work out with all of these beautiful images to look at. Nice. But also because this room is halfway below ground, mm -hmm. we have a little bit of nature outside in the window, but this really is like bringing nature all around us. And so on those cold wintry days when we can't go for a walk, um, and if we had decided perhaps that week to not pay to heat the pool, then we have this incredible space to come and, and do our yoga or, or whatever else we're going to do. We're not going to, we're not going to use heavy weights in here because we're not really, neither of us are, are weightlifters, obviously. <laughs> but it's a, it's a theme in the house actually, as you walk around, it's about how you bring nature into the house mm -hmm. and we've done it in the pool. Mm -hmm. We've done it in the orangery, mm -hmm. and now it's here in the gymnasium. So, sometimes you can do it with windows, sometimes you can do it with art. And this room is about, because we have a small window in here, this room is about bringing nature into the room through art. And these large images of these flowers is a great way to do that. So, really cool. Well, our work's not done yet. No. <laughs> so it's dark outside. And I just had to see what the footstool looks like with the chairs. Oh, I think it works. And then I'm trying out different rugs to see what's gonna go in here. And I've got this exquisite blue velvet, and this is going to be for the curtains and the bed crown. But I wonder what Simon's gonna think. Okay, what's the verdict? Well, you know, they're pretty close. I was surprised, actually, because I didn't think they would be anything like close, but they're very good. Yeah, it's, I a, do... nice, it's a nice match. The tassels aren't quite the same, but you oh. know, I'm really picking, I'm really picking small details. <laughs> yes, and it's, it's terrible oh. lighting right now, but uh, have a seat, though. That's the real thing about in, these chairs. In one of these, it's nice. Yeah. It's very good. Well done. You got a good match. They look great. <laughs> We 
new wine evening and something else. I learned something tonight. What did you learn? I learned that there's apparently an under the table wine <laughs> that comes out before they do the official wine <laughs> that's called a new wine. And everyone's here to drink it. So it's, it's this year's wine, but it's, yeah. Very good. So all of our neighbors, our local winemakers are here tonight trying yeah. each other's wines. It's great. Apparently it's very good. We've had a good year. We had sun and then apparently just enough rain in September to make the fruit, you know, all the grapes really big. So apparently it was really good. Yeah, thanks. Sante! And like 